So a non-contact voltage detector works better when you're touching it. And if you get it set just right, you don't even have to touch it. If you get near it, it starts to work. And uh, I was showing this on my backup page to explain a principle to somebody. And it turns out in the comment section, a lot of people don't know why that's true. And some people didn't even know that it was true. So I figured I'd post a video on my main page explaining it the best I can. Um, if you want to see the original post from my backup page, click on the comment above. Otherwise, let's get into it. Now, I say I'm going to explain it the best I can because I'm an electrician. I'm not an electronics guy, and this is clearly electronics. And normally when I explain something in one of my videos, I say I'm talking to electricians and how power interacts with the home in ways that matter to us. I'm not talking to guys dealing with 100,000 volt primaries. I'm not talking to guys dealing with electronics. So if you want the better explanation from an electronics guy, go to like Electric Boom or something. But if you want the gist of how it works from an electrician, here we go. So the first point you have to understand as an electrician with these is, and we know this, but you just never thought about it. Um, and this is why I posted the video on my backup page to prove this point to somebody. Voltage never exists on its own. Voltage is like height. You need a reference, right? That's why one of them just turned off. You need a reference. You never have just 120 volts by itself. It's 120 volts compared to something else. We always talk about a difference in potential. So for a voltage to work, it has to have the zero reference given to it, or it won't know that there's voltage there. So where does it get its zero reference? So not being an electronics guy, I have all kinds of problems with this, but it works. And uh, every time, every test I can come up with home verifies that this explanation is true, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Uh, it gets its reference through the air or through your body. And now the reason it works better when you touch it is you're a better conductor than the air. And you'll make it give it a reference through the ground, through the, like the physical ground, because we bonded everything with ground rods and blah, 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 back up. And now it knows that that little conductor has a higher potential than you. It's amazing. But uh, this is how smart guys like Electric Boom explain it. And I can't come up with a test to say they're wrong. So I have a lot of great followers in the comments that are going to show up and explain what happens inside the Volt Tick to make that happen. Uh, seems like magic to me that the plastic shell conducts through me or I don't know I don't know electronics guys are brilliant but I got like one guy one commenter his name is Gene I'm sure he'll show up and say 100 comments he's great with electronics um, so now the question is next time have, obviously we've all done it where we're trying to get one to stay and it's chirps and chirps and chirps and then you go to walk away and it stops chirping and you think you stuck it wrong you've had it balanced wrong you're trying all these different angles why doesn't it work and then you, it's finally beeping and then as soon as you let go it stops beeping and you're like why did it stop beeping? It didn't move. It, it didn't move. You let go of it. And they, they will work. They will chirp better while you're holding it. Now we know, after five minutes, you will get it to chirp when you walk away. Uh, that's it's getting its reference through the air. So what's funny is, the guy who did the, who I made this comment to, he said my videos were lies. He said I, he didn't believe me that electricity didn't flow to ground. I showed him my experiments showing with the ground rods that ground rods won't conduct electricity or a significant amount of electricity when they're not bonded. He said I was lying. He said I had to rig that test, that it was bull, blah, blah, blah. And then later on in the conversation, I'm like, well, voltage needs a reference. You can't just have voltage reference to dirt. It has to, the dirt has to be bonded. He's like, that's not true. How do you think non how do you think these work? I showed him my video of how these work and how they do get a reference through you. And now I'm blocked by him. <laughs> so I don't know. It's pretty funny. Um, all right. Thank you very much.